Russian admiral who Ukraine claim was killed in a strike on Crimea has now appeared in a video interview. Viktor Sokolov says that the Black Sea fleet that he commands is carrying out its tasks successfully. He also refers to an award that was handed out in late August. Now, CNN is unable to verify the date that this video was shot on Tuesday. Ukraine's military certainly said that it is now clarifying Sokolov's fate. Kyiv had initially claimed he and 33 others were killed in an attack Friday on Russia's Black Sea Fleet headquarters in Sevastopol. Well, meantime, the Kremlin downplaying the arrival of the first U.S. Abrams tanks in Ukraine, saying they will burn on the battlefield like other weapons. But Ukraine's military has resources on hand, including the menacing vampire attack drone. CNN's Fred Pleitkin has what is this CNN exclusive report. Rolling into battle as night falls, Ukraine's army attacking in the east around Bakhmut. For the Ukrainians, this is an extremely important, but also very complicated and potentially very dangerous mission. And we're going to be located very close to where the Russians are. We're with a frontline drone unit called Code 9.2. Their drone, the Ukrainian-made Vampire, the crew attaching the bombs as artillery whistles over our heads. The Vampire is fully night vision capable and plays a soundtrack showing it means business. The team leader's call sign is Gru, and he confirms because Ukraine doesn't have a modern air force, tonight they are the air force. The drones see in the night like in daylight, he says. We see the infantry, we hit the vehicles, cannons, everything we need to destroy. Groove also says Russians from the Wagner private military company have returned to the battlefield around Bakhmut. Yes, there is Wagner here too. They swiftly changed their commanders and have returned here, he says. We're breaking through their line of defense and hitting them well. As the drone takes off, the battle is already well underway. The Ukrainians using Western extended range artillery shells and cluster munitions to attack Russian ground forces. Groove is already busy targeting the Russians. Oh, something's burning, he says. His unit also managing to take out a Russian main battle tank by dropping several bombs on it. The Ukrainian army now starting to push forward. Our photojournalist Dan Hodge films powerful explosions as armored vehicles advance in the moonlit night. We're now hearing a lot of fire, a lot of outgoing fire, a lot of incoming fire actually also as well as the Ukrainians are trying to move forward and they say they want to take a key road away from the Russians. But the Russians are fighting back, firing flares to unmask the Ukrainians' advance and hit Kiev's forces. Groove remains unfazed, hunting a Russian tactical vehicle before destroying it. The Code 9.2 drone team often hunts Russian armor here, recently even destroying a modern T-90 tank in a highly complex operation. After more than a half dozen missions, the drone returns a final time. But as we try to get away from the battlefield, a tire bursts on our Humvee. No time for a spare, we push on. We just witnessed an extremely tough battle between the Russians and the Ukrainians, both sides going at it for hours with very heavy weapons. And the area where we were, shells landed close to there on various occasions. Now we're heading back to base. Hobbled but rolling after a long night on one of Ukraine's most dangerous front lines. Fred Plekin, CNN, Bakhmut, Ukraine.